The 10 Best Female-Led War Movies Audiences searching for female-led war movies might have had to look really hard in the past, but this list will hopefully make things a lot easier. The films mentioned either feature women who are right at the center of the action on the battlefield or help the large military complex in various capacities. Most importantly, the performances are all outstanding. 10. Megan Levy, 2017 Military dogs get ignored in many of the greatest war movies, but not in Megan Levy where the titular character serves as a military police canine handler. Their film follows her and her dog Rex as they overcome several obstacles while deployed in Iraq. Their bond grows stronger as the clock ticks and when the tour of duty is all over, she is allowed to adopt him. What Megan Levy does best is show audiences how crucial military dogs are in times of war. Not only do they spot enemies quickly, but they also sniff out IEDs easily, hence presenting scenarios where soldiers get caught off guard. Emotional moments are sprinkled all over the movie, notably one where both Megan and Rex get injured when an IED explodes near them in the film. Luckily, they survive. 9. Testament of Youth, 2014 Based on the memoir by English Voluntary Aid Detachment VAD, nurse Vera Britton, Testament of Youth follows the character as she serves as a medic during World War I. Through Vera's work, all the horrors of war are showcased. The screams of soldiers who have been injured are guaranteed to make audiences tearful, but the movie isn't only defined by melancholy. There is a heartwarming love story too meant to dilute the sad atmosphere. Testament of Youth also does more by explaining the things that drive people's career choices. For Vera, she joins the war because she is a proto-feminist. She is amazed at how men are volunteering to fight, and she feels that women have a duty to step up. Despite having received a spot at Oxford University, she chooses to serve. She almost regrets the decision but slowly comes to appreciate it more. 8. Return, 2011 Homecomings are supposed to be enjoyable but for Kelly in return, it's a total nightmare. During her tour in the Middle East, she demonstrates bravery and caution hence she comes back home without any injury. Sadly, she struggles to adapt. She finds herself losing concentration whenever her children need her attention and forces herself to narrate traumatizing stories to friends who are eager to know. On top of that, she discovers that her husband is cheating on her. Generally, return isn't meant to entertain but to highlight the struggles that military personnel go through after going back home. The fact that they are untreated unfavorably by friends and family despite their heroic efforts is unfortunate. Even sadder is the lack of proper therapy required to make post-war life easier. Nonetheless, the protagonist here remains optimistic and when she begins seeing a fellow veteran that understands her, the choice feels very justified. 7. Carve Her Name with Pride, 1958 Based on Art A.J., Minnie's book of the same name, Carve Her Name with Pride chronicles the life of the second-ever woman to be awarded the George Cross, Violet Sabo. During World War II, Violet is recruited as a member of the Special Operations Executive SOE, whose job is to gather intelligence on enemy forces. While at it, she does her best to juggle romantic feelings and her job. The risks that Violet takes in Carve Her Name with Pride are as remarkable as the sacrifices she makes. She meets several mysterious contacts, despite being warned of the dangers, and even chooses to help prisoners instead of escaping when she gets the chance. In the end, she gets killed after being captured and taken to a concentration camp, but her exploits before the tragedy are totally awe-inspiring. 6. G.I. Jane, 1997 Undoubtedly one of the best-ever Ridley Scott films, G.I. Jane is all about inclusivity and equal rights. In it, a female senator complains about the lack of women in the most valuable Navy units, so an effort is made to change that. Jane is chosen as the first person to undergo training and while at it, her drill instructor intentionally pushes her to the limit to try and make her quit. Jane's resilience and selflessness are impressive to see. She understands that if she fails to impress, the decision might just be scrapped. She even rejects gender norming, being subjected to tests tailored for women, and insists on doing the same tasks men do. 
Jane only gets to experience some wartime action in the third act of the movie and while at it, she shines so much that when she comes back, she is immediately accepted to the unit. 5. Private Benjamin, 1980. In Private Benjamin, serious efforts are made to make audiences laugh, which is impressive, considering that the titular character's story is a sad one. Her husband dies during intimacy on their wedding night, then an army recruiter persuades her to enlist promising her that she will enjoy everything, only for her to have some of the worst experiences. From dealing with a condescending drill sergeant to finding ways to reject a unit commander who is interested in sleeping with her, Benjamin gets to have a lot on her plate throughout the movie. And after finding love while deployed in Belgium, her fiancé turns out to be childish and unfaithful. There is no happy ending for Benjamin, but audiences will appreciate how she refuses to be exploited by anyone around her. 4. Battle for Sevastopol, 2015. Focusing on the World War II battles, the Siege of Sevastopol and the Siege of Odessa, Battle for Sevastopol follows the Red Army sniper Ludmila Pavlichenko as she defends the USSR from German invasion. Able to spot enemies from miles away, Ludmilla manages to take out hundreds of enemy combatants, achieving national fame in the process. It's undoubtedly one of the most recommendable Russian movies, given how perfectly it treats its main character. Ludmilla's story in Battle for Sevastopol unfolds beautifully. Initially, she has no interest in becoming a sniper. She is persuaded to do so after military scouts spot her friends enjoying themselves with her friends at a public shooting range. From there, she never looks back. The film also spares some time to explore male chauvinism and political propaganda, hence it feels like a complete World War II story. 3. The Stopover, 2016 The Stopover also falls in the post-deployment category of war movies as it follows a group of French soldiers as they are returning from a tour of duty in Afghanistan. In the film, it's implied that other governments care a lot more about the mental health and general health of their soldiers since these particular heroes get flown to a fully paid three-day vacation in Cyprus to unwind. Despite the government's good gesture, the characters can't find it within themselves to coexist peacefully. Internal conflicts arise between the male and female soldiers, resulting in a tense story that is defined by cruelty and crime. The women emerge as the protagonists while the men are the villains. And whenever the film isn't pitting the two groups against each other, it remains visually pleasing, thanks to the lush resort views. 2. Charlotte Grey, 2001 The majority of Kate Blanchett's drama films are set in the past and Charlotte Grey is no different. In it, she plays Charlotte, a member of Britain's Special Operations Executive, SOE, who is tasked with helping to end the Nazi occupation of France during World War II. Initially, her motivation to join the war is to find a lover whose plane has gone down, but she soon grows to love the job. From protecting Jewish children to blowing up Nazi trains, Charlotte does a lot in the movie. And her actions come off as more engrossing thanks to the picturesque cinematography. Her love story takes an unexpected turn towards the end of the movie, but her amazing war exploits cover up every other bad thing that happens in her life. 1. Battalion, 2015 during the events of the February bourgeois democratic revolution meant to protest Tsar Nicholas II's rule in Russia, the majority of male soldiers became demoralized, forcing the government to look elsewhere. A female-only unit known as the 1st Battalion of Death was formed to help in World War I. The exploits of these brave women are captured brilliantly throughout battalion's running time. As the first Russian woman to head a military unit, Maria Leontievna Bochkareva, demonstrates great leadership skills, constantly motivating her team members in discoursing laziness. Away from the amazing personalities of the main characters, the action set pieces are outstanding, giving audiences a key incentive to keep watching.